What's up everybody, Show 3.4 here bringing you another vlog. So, we're doing brakes, as you can tell by the title of this video, we're doing brakes, um, power stop brakes on a Trailblazer SS. And I'm gonna get more in detail into that in about a couple minutes here. I'm just waiting on, right now I'm waiting on him to pass me, um, drive in front of me because we're going to, he's gonna do a 60 to zero test with his, um, in his truck. So we're gonna kind of show you the before and after of what the brakes really do for how well they are for the Trailblazer SS and everything. So once he passes me, I'm gonna follow him and then he's gonna record on his phone the data that he gets from his 60 to zero. And then we'll use that before and we'll use it after and kind of show you the, uh, the benefits of the power stops. So what'd you get? Did um, it work? Five seconds, it took, it says. Like to exact? Stop, to stop, that's what it says. Does it say five only, like 5.00 or what? 5.0, that's what it says. Okay, at least we got a tenth to work with, too. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's all we got, five seconds. Whatever. All right, that works. Yep. All right, guys, so we're now we are finally in the garage. Uh, here is the, Chillblaze rest us as seen on the channel a bunch of times. If you're new, we have a bunch of different installs in this truck, so go ahead and check it out. Um, I'm gonna use this clip for actually both videos, the brakes and the control arms. We're doing uh, brakes and control arms. I'll get more into detail about them, but we're doing both of those uh, today. I'm gonna make two separate videos on them. Um, so we got power stop brakes, and when we open them up, we'll explain them more. We got control arms. Right now we're just setting up the jacks and getting her started. All right, truck's jacked up. Took the wheels off. Let's see these. I haven't even opened it, this box. What are these, fronts or rears? These are fronts, I'm pretty sure. So oh yeah, those are definitely beds? fronts. Those are some giant rears. <laughs> yeah, those are fronts. I'll sweep the gear. I don't know if we're gonna even need half this hardware stuff because these are heavy. Freezer bench. Freezer bench. The OG freezer bench. That's right. Oh yeah. I've missed these. These look massive. Are those factory size? That's factory size. I say they're size. all factory, aren't they? Yeah. But that's a big rotor still. Like that's the whole length of my arm. I mean, I do have small arms, but... The best part about these? No more brake dust. I don't even have that much brake. This is the worst one, because we well, want to stay in there. Man, dude, my truck... I'm going to be doing these my truck soon, and... Oh, my truck's brake dust is horrible. Well, these are ceramic, right? Uh, carbon ceramic. Carbon ceramic brake pads. Carbon fiber ceramic. Oof. Oh, wow, those are gonna look way better. Yeah, they come with the rattle clips already on them. Jackpot. It's a lot of extras. Yeah, and you'll have all new, all new slides. Red powder coated caliper, so you got it, like, it comes with the, obviously it comes with the caliper bracket, slides. Everything's gonna be, like, brand new, freed up. So literally slide my pads in there and uh, slap her on. And ship her, yeah. I believe That'd be real nice. Because normally when you do a brake job, you, you put all these, like, new, clean. you clean the old, uh, Caliper bracket off. It sucks. It sucks. <laughs> like and then like the the slides get all like gone. Some of them are frozen up. You gotta like pull them out, uh, re grease them. You gotta put the new anode rattle clips clips in with these. Obviously like they're four hundred dollars more, three hundred four hundred dollars more. But you get everything. Everything's brand new. Brand new caliper. Brand new bracket. Brand new slides. Brand new hardware. Oh, kidding. Well, that didn't work. Well, that's like the first time that hasn't 
Normally with the Ford ones, I could stick a pry bar in there and kind of push the caliper back a little bit. Oh, yeah. But these ones are a little bit tighter. Some cars, I've learned some cars you can, some cars you can't. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sweet. So you make out like a bandit on brake jobs with them? Really? Yeah, the rotors are junk though. Oh, that's the, a good rotor. Let me see your... No, they're junk. Look, the ridge is huge on them. Those factory? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Look. I'm pretty sure they've just been turned. Because they're thick. The yeah, it was about time. The rears are even worse. Like the pedal feel, you can tell it's lower because of that, because the pistons are going to come out so far. Probably ceramic drinks. Smoke. I put ceramics in the rear. I hadn't replaced my rear ones in a long time. Yeah, they're out. Those are going to be tight. You know you can turn your wheel guy. You know, I didn't think about it. You don't have any impact. That's what I always do. I don't know why you didn't think about it. Yeah, that's how I always do my Turn the wheel and hit it with the impact gun. It's been a long day at work. Well, there's not a whole lot of room to hit it with the impact. That was a good crack. <laughs> that, was a, that was a satisfying yeah, crack was, right there. I, I got a little nervous there for a second. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. There she blows. Junk. <laughs> Throwing literally all that away. So This is my favorite part, getting to smack your old road with a hammer. I know. The best part about doing brakes is this right here. You're, if, you're, wow. <laughs> if you're saving your rotor, don't hit the rotor. Yeah, like if you're saving your rotor, don't do that. Some cars will have like, you see these holes? Yeah, they're just Some cars will screws. have like screws that'll hold the road around there. Don't be hitting this and realize you have one. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming. While he's working with that rotor over there, obviously you guys saw we're just beating the piss out of it. I'm gonna start taking bolts out of this side. Look at that. Boom. Hey, shut up, Come on, it's taking so long, right? <laughs> you got the bad side. Got the, got the old sticky side. Perfect. So if you're having rotors that are being a pain, keep, there's two holes for bolts. Yeah, you can and you can like thread them in there and work it. And they push up against the. They push against the bearing. Against the hub. And then it'll. And it pushes the rotor out without smacking. Okay, so I started on the rear brakes. I got these ones off. They came out way easier. I'm just gonna show you guys the other side, uh, kind of like a, a fast, fast mode, and just let you watch. If you've done brakes before, it's not hard, but there's just if you haven't done brakes before, there's two bolts for the actual caliper, which are right there. And then there's two 18s for the actual bracket, which are right there. Okay, so I've got obviously both back brakes off. Um, we've got to repair an axle, well, each, actually both axles in this. I'm not gonna record that, um, but he is. We just got the control arm in. So for the control arm video, that'll be after this. And he's putting the, he put the rotor on. Caliper's gonna be a little bit more work just cause we gotta bleed it and stuff and transform over, but that'll be fine. That'll be, yeah, it won't be nothing. hard or nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, I know. 
Sorry, now you can try to fix those. Oh, but then again, it's not 1 o'clock in the morning. True. Throw those bad boys on. I can't see the holes. <laughs> there we go. The most fun part of the whole job, right yep. here. Which is not the most fun part of the whole job. <laughs> Tape my tires now. I got to hit my. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Try to this wheel bullet. That is really nice. I love it. How was it clean calipers? Hmm? How was it clean calipers? Remember me needing to clean my calipers now. <laughs> Alright, so we got the front on. We got the fronts done. Now we're gonna move on to the backs, but um, before, we do that. before we do that, we've got to do some wheel seals, and I'm not gonna record that because we just that we just gotta do. We gotta go into the diff, pull the axles, pull them out a little bit, stuff like that. So I'm not gonna record that. While we do that, I'm gonna put you guys on the charger. You guys aren't gonna have any idea, but I'm not gonna record that at all, and then we'll get back to it after that. All right, guys. After a good hour or so, we got the. Uh, Little complications, not really complications, but just stuff we've never ran into yet before. Um, we got the axle seals done. He's just finishing cleaning up the diff cover and all that kind of stuff, so that's not what this video is about, whatever. Um, I have to find something and then I'm gonna throw the rear brakes on and show you guys how we do that. All right, so we've got the rears on, fronts on. New axle seal. We did do a new axle seal. I didn't record that, but we did. And uh, pretty much after this, just gotta clean up, lead the brakes. <laughs> just gotta clean just up. Gotta clean up. Yeah, um, yeah. We've got a pretty. Stout. Good size, massive mess to clean up, but we will clean it up, bleed the brakes, and uh, should be good. All right, guys, sorry for the jump, but it is the next day. Uh, we got pretty much, we put the brakes on and everything, and kind of got everything ready Oops. for this morning. Um, and we're going to finish it all this morning, bleed the brakes, kind of clean everything up, and uh, stuff like that. So I went home, obviously, last night, and I'm going to... It is just nine o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to head out. It's freaking snowing, which I'd rather it snow a freaking lot than or not at all. But whatever. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go finish this brakes, and then we also got to run to work because we're gonna align this truck since we just did a control arm. All right, like I said, we're back. We got one more to do. We buttoned them all up, and we've got the calipers with the brake lines switched over. He's doing the last one, and we're going to start the bleeding process. Pump them up. Yeah, pump it up. Yeah, sure am. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, I'm holding. Ooh, right to the floor. <laughs> Okay. Hold it. Okay. Oh, yeah, bubbles. Okay, three down, one to go. I uh, turn the wheel. Okay, pump it up. Okay. Woo! Oh, I heard that one. <laughs> pump it up. Yeah, Okay. Pump it up. Yep. Holding. Okay, guy, we're done. Yeah. We're going to drive it like this. Yeah, the nap trucks are two and a half gallons too. Yeah, that's just a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, that's there. Guys, trucks down, wheels are on, torqued. 
I'm gonna back this out, drive it, and then we're gonna actually head to my work and align it, but. Ready? Yep. Yeah, probably a good idea. do the break-in period. in the brakes better good a lot better. we didn't do it well we can't really do a I can't really it's a 60 in here and if I do I'll probably run the mail guy over that's behind us well that and it's a little wet oh yeah I'm not gonna get track but I mean he's by his word he said it's cold and wet the pedal you can just feel in the pedal like how much pressure you need to actually it's yeah there. they grip way better and they I mean, have you have you like kind of stomped on them kind of ish not like I'm just going around here all right yeah of, but like yeah, you can I go really, straight down here. I haven't really like stopped 30 hard on them. Good grief! Yeah, they, those are real good. That was I wasn't even on it all the way. All right, guys. Once again, doing an outro in my in my room. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will have the links to uh, the parts in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next vlog.